Hey guys, here today we got a Menage a Trois review. Michael Thomas up first of the three that you see in the thumbnail. So, stock 90 speed. And I think we're going to go from worst to best here. But, Thomas, can he catch the ball? Yes, with his catching stats, he will hang on to it. Route running stats also nice. Deep route running barely hits that 90 number, that threshold that we need so badly. Six foot three, also got good body size. So you can power him up. You can get him up to what, 93, 94 speed on a Saints theme team. But let me tell you, I mean, it's kind of like, I, I, I don't know. You guys play Madden, right? I assume. You guys know what this game is all about it's about speed right now there are certain routes that you want i run a couple underneath routes here that you really want to you know more possession catch there he is trying to catch a pass and double coverage not really gonna happen because you know it, it's when i do it when my opponent does it perfectly fine they'll catch it not a big deal but michael thomas no corner route beats cover two nice work michael but like guys like like Miko, if we're gonna talk about the other team of the year, guys, there he is, uh, getting caught up on his route running too. And though he's got 90, he can still like mess up, and it's very frustrating. Here he is, where he doesn't get caught up because I don't motion him outward. So he still is dumb on the field, even though he's got good stats that say like, hey, you shouldn't be dumb. He still has stats that will make or it's just mad and making him dumb. So it's sad that like receivers can't play as smart as they should because all these routes that he's catching. Everybody else would also catch, right? And they'd also potentially make some moves. He's also not that great after the catch without the speed, without with all, all that greatness, that goodiness. Uh, there's stiff arm and a dude and pushing him off, which is kind of nice. A uh, little diving catch. But, like, this is standard stock. Like, Michael Thomas, I really wish they made guys like him better in Madden. But because of the way people um, are statted and the way the cards are right now, we have so many cards that can do all these things. And, like, guys hanging the ball in traffic, this is, like, that's tough. Right there, especially. That is my biggest damnation of Michael Thomas itself. He got out spec caught by, um, what was it, Patrick Willis? Patrick Willis, a linebacker beat him, right? Why would a linebacker in a one-on-one -on -one situation where Michael Thomas had the position on him, right? Here he is beating a guy, pressed man coverage. Yeah, that's not going to happen with that speed. A linebacker where Michael Thomas had position, Michael Thomas went for the freaking pass breakup and lost. Out spec caught by a god dang linebacker. The guys who don't jump this year to say how pathetic he is. So my offense was worse with Michael Thomas on the field. I really regret ever giving him play time. Review for Michael Thomas, 1 out of 10. Get him off your squad, terrible. DeAndre Hopkins, a little bit better. Stock 92 speed, 6 foot 1, so a little shorter there. And he has the same high catch and traffic spec catch. Uh, the short route running, medium route running, all that jazz at 90 overall. You know, not too bad. Very similar to Michael Thomas with those stats. Uh, and I mean, like, and really, I don't know. I, I don't hate the cards. I give him 1 out of 10 because he's super expensive. And, and DeAndre Hopkins, he's not going to go for a lot less because the 96 overalls and training stuff. But, like, when you look at this card, is that a 96 overall? No, dude. Like, Miko, who's, what, 95, who's much faster, similar route running. Yeah, a little bit less catching. But, like... I don't know. I don't know what they need to do to their catching traffic, spec catches in order to make it important. Now, I know Hopkins isn't going to do anything like that because it's double coverage, whatever. Here's an uh, easy play right there to Hopkins. I get that. I get the double uh, coverage part, but I don't know. There needs to be some sort of way of making, you know, guys that aren't good at, uh, you know, possession catch or spec catch and guys that are different. I don't know how they would make that mechanic. Here's Hopkins making a nice run after catch type of move. Like, we threw it low. He was able to transition off field. Transition off field. Is terrible this year for anybody that know. Here's a nice little drop right there. So even though we had position, even though we had the ball, still dropped. Here it is where my uh, Hopkins is outrunning his Sean Taylor. So it can happen. See, the little extra couple uh, speed is is pretty important. And on to my favorite uh, one of the bunch, George Kittle. Hopkins gets a two out of ten <clears throat> for being too expensive, and not fast enough. George Kittle, 6'4", 92 speed. This is all chemmed up. 94 spec, and especially the 88 run block is really what you're looking back. Uh, looking for at the tight end for like <clears throat> some sort of dives and stretches a lot animation based but like once a, once like the animation takes over sometimes the, the the kittle will get around to the uh you know the, the tackle will take the end the kittle will lead back up to the linebacker and safeties and stuff like that and that's where you really want him at here he is a cover three beater kittle perfectly cromulent did a good job was able to stretch the field like that i threw him a lot on routes i blocked him a lot did not see a, a, a ton of issues you know outside of you know just general madden fuckery with the blocking there is a possession catch dropped so 
not not a god tier like that you'd expect him to catch uh things that you wouldn't see out of other players like that dive catch i was really hoping that was going to get completed but it wasn't so you know it is what it is i mean these are these are muck cards going against muck cards so like you're going against some of the best players um he, he is as dumb as all the other ones you know he, he won't he won't stop before online he still has those kind of catching issues so it is sad to say madden madden sucks dude madden madden is coded terribly for a lot of these mechanics and it's been this way for years uh, he doesn't. He does go down. and gets tackled pretty easy by Deion Sanders and the like. Uh, so overall, Kittle, I'm gonna give him an 8.3 out of 10. Hopkins, did I say that? 2 out of 10. But uh, thanks for watching. 